We have a romantic vision of farmers. They are strong yet sensitive people who get up at the crack of dawn to milk the cows, till the soil and tend the land. They pay their dues in sweat and toil for pastoral bliss of looking out over their fields, secure in the knowledge that their labours will feed the nation. We envisage that they imbue their children with the love of the gentle rhythms of nature, planting, growth, harvest, rest and renewal. In this idealised picture, farmers live their lives secure in the knowledge that they will pass along the fruits of their labours to their children and that all will continue in this idyllic setting as it has throughout the ages. It's a lovely vision, but it isn't the reality of modern farming life, which is one of drought and flood slim or no margins, the choice between organic or intensive practices and the increasing commercialisation. All of this is happening at a time when farmers and the crucial sustenance they produce are needed more than ever. The stark reality is that we will need to feed 50% more people in the world by 2050. It's in this harsh setting that the University of Western Australia commence work on its Future Farm 2050 project in 2008. So the Future Farm project is based around four pillars of activity uh, and they clearly interact with each other. The first pillar is crop production. So we have a, a program of advanced uh, technology and crop production, primarily for wheat and canola, which are the major crops of this part of the world. We also produce barley and lupins. So the second pillar is livestock production, which we, we banner as clean and green and ethical production. Clean means we try to reduce our dependency on drugs and hormones, in fact all chemicals. Green means we try to have a minimal impact on the environment, in particular environmental pollution, and there's a strong focus for us on greenhouse gas emissions. And ethical means that we start to look after animal welfare and animal ethics as part of the production system. The third uh, pillar of activity is the ecosystem restoration. So because farmers are responsible for so much of Australia's landscape, by, by definition they're responsible for biodiversity. And farmers need to be seen as the solution for biodiversity, not the cause of biodiversity problems. So, so we're really keen to, to reshape the thinking around biodiversity conservation in farming systems. And certainly not least, the final pillar is people. So quite clearly, Farms need people to operate them and manage them, and these people need to belong to vibrant communities. And a lot of small communities in, in the rural areas have been struggling in recent times. And so we see this as a major focus of our attention, is that we need the farmers to be living in really nice conditions and happy to be living on the farm, so in a beautiful house, for example, and a very comfortable life. But also to be members of really vibrant local communities that are going places that have good schools, have good, good uh, facilities and so forth. So we have a major activity in this area, dealing with the people, dealing with the infrastructure and dealing with the social issues. Pindulay community is made up of around about, I think, don't hold me to it, about 13 to 1400 people. It has about seven to 800 people live inside the town and then the rest live in the Shire. So the predominant industry is agriculture. Farming is big here. It is, one, it is the main bread and butter and it is the major employer. So if you don't work, own a farm and work a farm, you will work on a farm as a farm hand or you might work on a, an associated industry for shearing or sheep dip or I can't think of the others, but there's lots of industries that tie into that. The university's four pillars are underpinning the changes farmers need to make in order to increase their rate of food production while also ensuring that their rate of profitability remains stable. So agriculture as a business has changed, but one of the areas which has largely failed to keep pace is that of rural insurance. Both independent farmers and commercialised operations are looking for solutions which will cover all aspects of a farm, from a ride on lawnmower to a drone to monitor water use in crops. So, how do we see it through for Australian farmers? In 2014, CGU Insurance commenced rural strategy research to better understand the human insights to modern farming. We interviewed farmers across Australia and discovered pioneers such as the University of Western Australia's Future Farm 2050. Okay, so CGU contacted us late last year um, and said they wanted to come and visit the Future Farm project because they had seen it on the web. And uh, I was bemused by this and, uh, and, uh, and I was wondering what on earth they wanted to see us for because you know, 
I thought maybe they just wanted to sell us a policy. Um, and uh, so, uh, but then we, we began um, through interactions with Helen to understand what the nature of her project was. And so we were quite happy to bring them down here and introduce her to the farm and to the people, to Steve and to the community. And I have to admit to being completely surprised by the project itself. I found it really, really refreshing in that suddenly we had a, a company like CGU actually trying to, to develop a vision that in actual fact managed, matched our vision very much as well. So they were looking at long-term sustainability of rural industries, which is exactly what we're doing, and, and trying to link their business to that concept of sustainability. And I just found that to be a really exciting and interesting concept to come from an insurance company. CTU started the farm project as we realised although we had majority market share, we hadn't reviewed our portfolio in over 20 years and needed to become more relevant and up to date with what farmers were doing today. The farm project involved bringing together a diverse team, interviewing farmers across Australia to understand what could make their world a safer place. By making these personal connections, we were able to design solutions that meet the needs for agriculture both now and into the future. We are focusing on four areas. Farmers know how to get the most out of their land and are consistently seeking to maximise their ability to be resilient against the changeable nature of environmental and business risk. Farms today are businesses and we have seen the family orientated nature of farming change with a trend towards commercialisation which has seen large corporations many with foreign ownership, buying bulk land across Australia, often hundreds of properties at a time. So it's crucial that we look at farming as an investment instead of a lifestyle. Farm owners and managers have often established local relationships from which they have received insurance advice which can span generations. These relationships are a vital part of farming communities, so it's crucial for our regional economy to maintain and capitalise upon them. This only works, however, if this advice model stays relevant and timely. Insurance brokers must be kept up to date on the latest opportunities and be aware of the changing risk landscape. We seek to equip these brokers with both knowledge and the tools to be able to do so. At CGU, we're seeking to continue to see it through for agriculture in Australia. Through ongoing research, key partnerships such as the University of Western Australia's Future Farm 2050, and the development of tailored and relevant insurance products and solutions, we will ensure that we protect rural investment for the long term, sustainable future.